When we think of Gutenberg add-ons, we often think of block collections. That is a suite of blocks from the same vendor. These typically have a container block, a heading block, a button block, list block, and so on. However, there's another type of Gutenberg add-on, the utility add-on, which serves a different purpose. Instead of adding more blocks, utilities enhance and extend the editor itself, or add features to other blocks. Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I want to take a look at five utility add-ons. Five add-ons for Gutenberg that each do just one thing. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of them and then discuss and summarize at the end. Let's get started. One thing to note about all of the Gutenberg add-ons I'm going to talk about in this video, they're all available for free in the WordPress plugin directory. Now the first one I want to look at is it called Insert Special Characters. Remember how in the classic editor you were able to insert special characters? And Gutenberg doesn't have that feature. Well this plugin adds that back in. Let's take a look. Here's the Hello World post and I've turned on the Insert Special Character plugin. And what we get on this little down arrow menu now is we get a menu item for special characters. And when we click on it, we get a big list of special characters. There are several categories. So I'll just click one and add it. And there we go. I'll save that. Now, one interesting thing about this add-on is that if we go and deactivate the plugin, and go back to the post, our special character still shows. So that's awesome. We're not going to lose anything if later on we need to deactivate it. This is a nice single purpose addition to the Gutenberg editor. The next utility add-on for Gutenberg that we're going to look at is called Block Navigation. And this is a pretty popular one. Normally when you're in Gutenberg, there is a built-in core block navigator this little stair step icon here opens it and you see the blocks on the page. You can click it to go to select one. What this plugin does is it adds a block navigator on the right. It opens up over the settings panel and it has a few differences from the core one. One is it shows you a little preview of what the block is to make it easy to find like in a long page. And another thing that it does is that you can select a block and drag and drop it to reorder, which you can't do in the core block navigator. You can change the color scheme. And over on the right, there's a little context menu where you can copy a block's client ID or send the JSON to the console window or move the block or open the block settings. So that's the block navigation add-on for Gutenberg. The next one we're looking at is blocks animation and it adds CSS animations for Gutenberg blocks. So let's take a look at that. When you enable it, it adds an animation menu here to the block settings. And there are 80 animation options to choose from, a huge number. Lots of different categories, bouncing, fading, flipping, rotating, sliding, zooming, rolling, and then some others. Try the jack-in-the-box option. There you go. And when you choose one, then you get a few settings. You can add a delay and you can add a speed option. So let's try that again. There you go. So that's the block animations for Gutenberg. The next one we're looking at is for syntax highlighting. If you share code in your posts, then you'll likely want to have some syntax highlighting. And this block is created by a WordPress core contributor. Instead of adding a new block, what it does is it extends the core code block in WordPress. It puts a lot of attention on being performant. It doesn't add any JavaScript to the front end. It renders the block server side and it's compatible with AMP. 
it supports a large number of programming languages and there are instructions here for getting information about it by going to the plugin wiki and what this does is it tells you if you want to add a different syntax highlighting style like say a dark style then you can add this snippet and it will use the syntax style the highlighting style that you've specified and there are a large number of them let's go to our hello world page and this is what the core code block looks like when you use it. So I'm just going to paste in a code snippet. And this is what that looks like by default. I'll save that. Now let's go and activate the syntax highlighting plugin and go back to our post. And let's choose our language, PHP, and show line numbers and update. And let's go preview that on the front end. And so here are our line numbers. Here's the color coding. Now let's go back and I installed a code snippets plugin. And here is the snippet. And I chose a style called Alterior Dune Dark. So now let's go take a look at at the code snippet and we see that it has a different editor style. All right, so this is the syntax highlighting plugin. This one is different than the others we've looked at. It's not an enhancement to the Gutenberg editor. Instead, Find My Blocks is a nice plugin that helps you find where you've used different blocks. So here's the menu for Find My Blocks off of the Tools admin menu. Here you have a list of blocks, and these are the settings. You can sort the navigation or the card results, and you have the option to show core blocks if you want to. So let's look at the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg columns block, and here it shows the different posts that it's been used on and how many times it's used on the post. You can go to edit the post or view it. So this is useful if you wanna know where a block has been used. Maybe you're switching out different block plugins and you wanna go back and refactor and remove one, or you're just wondering if you maybe have something installed, you're wondering if it's safe to turn it off or uninstall it. So this is the Find My Blocks plugin. This was a quick look at five free Gutenberg add-ons that are available in the WordPress plugin directory. Each of them does just one thing, and each provides something that's missing from core. Insert Special Characters is a nice lightweight add-on that is simple to use, and I like that the special characters that you add continue to show even if you disable the plugin. A lot of people like the Block Navigation add-on. It adds several enhancements to the core Block Navigator. I found, however, that the block navigation list shows on the right side settings area. This is a downside for me as this area is already crowded and difficult to navigate. So I probably won't use it for that reason. I would have preferred if it could have replaced the core version instead because there's no reason for two navigators on the screen. However, that's my personal preference and I see that a lot of people like it and it's a big improvement on the core version. Block animation was pretty nice. There are a large number of options to choose from. You can add an animation to any block and it was pretty easy to use. The syntax highlighter add-on extends the core code block. I noticed that the line numbers and syntax highlighting didn't show up in the editor. And that's not as nice because you don't get a full preview of what the final result will look like. Also, it was a little bit harder to use because if you wanted to change the style, you needed to add a PHP snippet. So this might not appeal to everybody. I noticed there are a large number of syntax highlighting blocks in the WordPress plugin directory, and some of them add features like a language tag or a copy to clipboard button. However, I like this one because the author put a lot of attention on being lightweight and performant. Finally, find my blocks. It's a little different than the others in that it's not adding something to the editor, but I found it useful if you wanted to standardize on block usage. 
You can find the places where a block is used and swap it out before removing the plug-in. All five of these add-ons seem to be solid and I didn't run into any issues with them. While it's unlikely that you will use all of these, I hope you find some that are useful. Do you know of other Gutenberg utilities that you like that I've missed? If so, please let me know in the comments. There's a text version of this video available on the WebTNG website, along with other tutorials, reviews, and resources. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.